standing on our ancestors' shoulders, opening up myself to learning more about my history as a black woman was a true journey of self-discovery and self-love. There is so much trauma in our history, but yet it's filled with love even through all the trauma. We stand on our ancestors' shoulders that sacrificed for us in order to be free. We stand on our ancestors' shoulders as free black women and men. Our ancestors were willing to risk their lives and did. Some died fighting to be free, so future generations would be free. True heroines of their own stories, Anthony Burns escaped slavery and became a fugitive slave only to be captured and put back into slavery, but this caused an uproar and eventually his freedom was purchased. He lived the rest of his life in Canada. Harriet Jacobs escaped slavery by hiding in a crawl space for seven years at her grandmother's house. Her enslaver made brutal sexual advances towards her and threatened to sell her children if she didn't submit. Elizabeth Freeman had the courage to sue for her freedom and won. Dred Scott had the courage to sue for his, his freedom and his wife's freedom. Unfortunately, his attempt was unsuccessful, but it does not mean it wasn't successful for us. His unsuccessful attempt it was an as was a successful attempt for us because we stand here on his shoulders free. We stand on our ancestors' shoulders. We stand on their hopes. We stand on their dreams. We live in the lives they fought for. We stand on the love our ans- of our ancestors that loved us enough to fight for us as black people so we could be free. We stand on our ancestors' shoulders that fought for us to have equal rights. We stand on our ancestors' shoulders and we still fighting injustices against our people. Our blueprint taught us how to fight our ancestors. We stand on our ancestors' shoulders.